welcome to Drawing with Fire. I am Valerie, your neighborhood pyrography artist, here to help guide you on your burning adventures. And I'm joined with Hubby. I'm eating. Oh, you don't have a special name today? No, you caught me off guard. Oh, you knew we were starting. Hi, Eve. Hi, Grace. Hi, Sin. So, I am so running behind. I was only able to transfer Charlie here for day seven. I still need to finish my swan and get in the rest of the pieces for this but i at least wanted to get charlie in and that way you can see how i'm doing the pattern if i'm running behind but for some reason it's not huh it was all lined up but whatever i got him down i'm not worried about it i can take that off and i am going to start with a ball tip Move those troops. There we go. So hopefully I am going to adjust so you can see better. Let's see here. So how has everybody been doing? Well, everybody's been saying hi. And also, um, looks like uh, World Pyrography Month is, is very popular. I'm so glad. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Chris. Hi, Bur Burl. Hope I said that right. I'm Ooh, sorry. Barrel. 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 Let's see if I can get... me if I'm wrong. Um, and Eve has a swamp... Not Eve, I'm sorry. Grace has a swamp cooler. No. Yay! To me, swamp coolers... Ugh, too much humidity. Alright, let's see here. Is that good enough? I had a hard time trying to adjust the camera today. Ooh, we're gonna get all kinds of weird shots of me. Let's do. Come on. I moved my camera, and so now I'm having a harder time getting things lined up. Not, I thought I had it ready, but I just didn't. There we go. That'll work. Hopefully, I didn't make everybody too dizzy. Especially since I'm going to be moving the board anyway. I can zoom out a Todd. There we go. And I was waiting for my pen to heat up anyway. So I went darker because we're going to do the dark areas first. And with Charlie here, we have all kinds of different fur. We got a short frizzy fur, we have long fur, we have flowing, we have smooth-ish. So he covers everything. All right, I could probably go darker and I do also have a larger color reference of Charlie so that I can see what's going on because not everything's like fully dark. But Actually, I can go a little higher. Right now, I am a little, a little past four. So we'll get those in there. And as we put the darks in, the lights will stand out even more. Now, do you want to tell him why Charlie makes us smile? Because he's a llama. But why do llamas make us smile? Because of Miguel. Is that the right answer? Yeah, but they don't know who Miguel is. Oh, Miguel is our... And why? Can I tell them why? Sure. He's up there. I don't know if you want to get him down. And right now I'm just kind of scrambling because there are no... <laughs> you got a turny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember, everything's opposite. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's like super zoomed in. He's old. <laughs> now, that is Miguel, and Miguel has a very special purpose. Um, I don't like where this is going. Can I tell them? Kind of tell them? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, so back. Um, 
He has, uh, Miguel hasn't made a visit in a while. So I'm going to have to go kind of back in history. And um, when Jason, when we were stationed up at uh, Fort Lewis, um, that's when you got your diagnosis for PTSD, right? Yeah. And if I saw Jason kind of shifting and having a really hard time, I would bring out Miguel and Miguel would make him smile, even when he didn't want to. <laughs> it's called assault with a llama. It was not assault with a llama. <laughs> It was not. That's also why uh, the penguin that I did last week has skip. skip. Yeah, see, I did the penguin, but it's not the exact look. What? It's not the exact skipper. No, but I did. Oh, God, no. I did skipper too, and that is why these are special. They work hard. Don't they? Yes. Cheryl has ordered her Optima. Yes, I know. She's waiting for it to show up. She's so, over in the UK. So. It's like waiting for Christmas. I'm just glad she was able to finally get it. Let's see here. No, please. There was no llama drama. There was no <laughs> mama llama drama. There was no big fat mama llama drama. <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, I guess it depends on what your definition of drama is. You would get mad at him. It was a um, song. That oh. Was on, um, I can't remember which platform it was on. Let's see, he's, I don't think it, was, it might have been a Vine. Gotcha. So Charlie our, has... Our daughter showed it to me. Oh, that was a while back. Oh, I about to say I missed that then. Uh, trying to get this smooth. Eyeball needs to come down a little bit. So there's darks and lights within the light of the eyeball. And let's see here. What side are you working on right now? What do you uh what do you mean? Are you working on the light side or the dark side? Um I kind of put in a darker, but I'm actually going to switch tips over to the spear shader. Oops. Don't you want to work on the dark side some more? <laughs> no. Right. to the dark side. Your journey will be complete. <laughs> kind of looks like him right now. <laughs> Let's see. Have we zoomed in enough? And can I? There we go. Hopefully... I haven't clicked the auto focus. Sian is doing a white and fluffy burning of Ruka. I think that's her puppy. Oh. We have a white fluffy puppy. We do. She's rather large. She went on a walk yesterday. And you posted she's three, but she's actually five. I know. I was thinking we've had her for three years. Yeah. Yeah. She's actually, what did you say, five? Yeah, we adopted her in 2015, June. Wow. 2015. I'm just going to try to go around this area of the highlights so I can erase. And you're seeing in the speed burnings that I'm... Um, erasing my lines before I get started and that's so they're lighter because I transferred them pretty dark last week um, and that way I don't burn them in so we have a highlight on the lid I want to preserve that and I can always darken it up which I will let's see here I don't want to turn it too much yeah, Charlie's falling on me. He's falling and can't get up. There we go. Maybe. Kind of. I actually changed the angle of my easel thinking it would help. It's actually kind of annoying me. 
Why is the tone of the video off? Tone? Yeah, it's like too bright. They have no color. Uh, there's plenty of color. What are you talking about? Look at the board. It's just... Okay. You've been drinking... You've been drinking coffee all morning. I've only had my regular... Did you see JP's video? No, I didn't. Mm. Was it a good one? Not coffee. He gives up coffee. Oh, boy. For about two minutes. I don't want to give up coffee. I, don't I like the taste. It doesn't do anything for me. But I like the taste. Me either. Coffee does nothing for me. Nothing, 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 nothing at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. I know, I'm sorry. I'm playing with the controls. Mm. I'm just trying to get it to look more accurate. And like it's not. I was looking through the, um, the world biography stuff. There's some really cool stuff. Yeah, every, yeah, everybody's doing an awesome job with it. And I, you know, there's a lot of excitement about it. Well, I hope so. I think that for too long, biographers have been relegated to the back burner. <laughs> Burn. I got it. And I got now it. it's their time. Yeah. It's your time. Get this in. He has eyelashes, so I don't want to lose those. Those are really important part of his facial cuteness. I'm just going to put some clumps in so I don't lose them. I love how they always look like they're wearing false lashes. So this is the eyeball. And even this line is still thinner. Llamas in Space was one of Paulo's favorite games ever. I don't so think no, I saw that one. No sound over here. What does that mean? No sound? Who's got no sound? Uh, Paulo. But nobody else has complained about it, so I don't think it's I see on. our mics moving. Yeah, I don't think it's on our end. Oh, that stinks. Oh, Ursis is here. Hi, hey, Ursis. Let's get this in. Now, I bumped up to three and a half. That's why it's darker. And I'm just using the very tip. Let's see here. I think I put that there, that line, because it's darker. So, trying to preserve, because I really don't want to try to have to go back and put in a highlight. So now, lash time. And I'm using the edge of the Spear shader. Get those fabulous lashes in. Mm. But there's also some hair that's coming down over his eyes, which actually kind of covers the eyeball. Let's mm -hmm. see if I can. No sound issues, I think. Okay, so it's pop the problems on his side. Oh, okay. That stinks. Let's see, we got some lashes coming down here. These are thin hairs that are in here. And if I can help it, I don't want to scratch out. Because I really don't like doing that. It just doesn't give me the texture that I want. I mean, it's doable, it's just I don't like doing it. Alright. Gonna blend that in. And I'll come back and get his eyeball. Once I do more. And then under his eye, 
we have a softer for here that goes down. I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to pop up my reference photo. And I got this reference photo from Pixabay. Let's see, let's keep. Keep that highlight. I will tone it down because it's not super dark. I hate being behind on my own challenge. But in all fairness, I'm also trying to do videos. Yeah. <laughs> videos, even speed videos, take quite a while. Yeah, you got a lot going on. I've gotten faster at doing the videos. In fact, that's why I didn't get my oops, sorry, landmarks done, which goes right here. In fact, I can show that real quick. I forgot I didn't show. Ah, this is the gang for this week. Let me zoom it out. You look like the animal eating. <laughs> so this is the gang this week. <laughs> <laughs> they do kind of look like that, don't they? So this is my landmarks. This is a ringtail cat, which I found out is the Arizona state animal. Not the roadrunner. Not the roadrunner. Or the coyote. Or the coyote. Nope. would have been my... Would have made sense, but yeah. no. Neither one of them. So I chose, because I didn't want to have a man-made landmark in my animal piece, so I went ahead and went with the state animal and then i have what makes you smile which is charlie i have oh i don't have the list in front of me animal so i did dolphin since it's a mammal i have a ladybug flying for insect i have a baby koala for delicate and water so i one day will be burning the dolphin the other day will be burning the water and the water butts up to the swan, so that makes more sense. Right here where this is cut out, that's where the owl eyes are. Oh, and weather, I have monsoon clouds in the background, and I'll probably have it raining. Um, so yeah, those are my seven for this week. Granted, I still have to get the swan done and finish transferring these guys. I'll double back and work on the ringtail cat uh, later on today, I think, after I finish this one. So, that's who all is this week's gang. Let's smooth some of these areas out. I can go darker. I bumped up to four. And I'm just using the tip of the, of the 18M. Let's see here, and our fur, as it comes out, the big thing with this one is following the direction. If I, you know, go this way down his nose, it's going to change from looking like a llama. We don't want that. Do some erasing. There we go. Gracie well, says cute animals, and Cheryl says that uh, she loves the ring-tailed cat. His eyes are beautiful. Yeah, I was really mesmerized by those eyes and completely shocked. I've lived in Arizona for uh, over 20 years. And I honestly thought, because I thought the Roadrunner was the an uh, state animal bird, because you only find them basically here. And that would really actually be the um, cactus run, is the state bird. And coyote, I, I didn't think that was the animal. Well, it should be. <laughs> um, and acme should be our official business. <laughs> and acme should be our official yes. business. Let's see here. Go down. Now this is smooth fur and down the bridge of the nose and it actually goes up. 
We have a, a rescue park that's, well, we have two rescue parks that are here, but we have a... Um, rescue park? Yeah. Oh, Arizona, okay. And then we have the deer park. Yes. The deer park has llamas in it that you can... Yeah, I should have gone through the photos. That you can get close and... They'll spit at you, too. And pet and hang out with. There was one llama that was, like, in love with you. Yeah, it turns out that... He it was, was a guy. Really, a, <laughs> yeah. He's a, it was a, a bromance. It was a bromance. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, he apparently did not get along... With the other, with the other llamas. llamas, but he really, really loved uh, you. Me, yeah. Kept following you all over the place. Grant, mind you, you also fed him. Well, I petted him a lot too. Yeah. And uh, was it Lucy the camel? Yeah. Yeah, you can, you can go there, and, and uh, if you want to feed the camel, you can put a like a carrot or something in your mouth, and she'll come over and take it. I think you need to talk a little louder. You're quiet. Am I? Mm-hmm. Remember the can't mic's close. the volume of my voice. <laughs> You're not defrosting. No. Oh. <clears throat> it is hot enough to defrost somebody. Oh. So now we're getting, um, Cheryl says, in Pool Dorset, their animal is a dolphin. Oh, cool. And... Uh, Beryl says ours is a Komoda bear, it also known as spirit bear. See, I, also, I, I, ooh, 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 I can't talk today. I also thought that uh, our state reptile was a Gila monster, but no, it's a rattlesnake. But I'm not surprised on that. Mm. So for me, it just seemed to make sense because I was really having a hard time figuring out what to do for landmarks. And mind you, for weather, I couldn't come up with any animal for weather. So I'm just going to put the monsoon clouds in the background as part of the atmosphere. And since I haven't burned clouds before, let's see here. I want this to roll. Roll, roll, roll. So this is all short fur, so I'm trying to blend it more and do smaller strokes. Let's see here. Got some darker. Going this way. Is the camera angle okay? Yeah. Right now I'm trying to See my reference. Lisa Schirmeister is here. Hey, Lisa. All right, let's get this <clears throat> out. So these are all short, and I'm um, actually going to darken it. Because this side, if I don't get the value right, Again, it's going to change the shape of his face. And I'm guessing this one's going to take at least as long as the elephant, which the elephant took three hours. The penguin took me an hour. Right now, I'm just blocking in. I can always go back and put other hair strokes. Yeah. But. And this is longer fur, and it's curving towards the bridge. Uh, I guess I could go higher. Let's zoom it in. There we go. That's a little better. And remember, first layer is always look bad. We're still at the ugly stage. And I feel like I spend a lot of time in the ugly stage. So, just blocking it in. I can always go back and darken. And we've got a highlight here. And this nose hair goes up and is darker 
curves, but I will come back and darken things. Let's see here. Actually, that is the darker area. Hmm. Oh well. Oops. So this is the darker area, and it goes in completely different directions. So just blocking it in. Oh, he's got a piece of straw in his nose, but I'm not including that. And I'm just, that's my, you know, just an artistic choice. I don't want to deal. I'm trying to get a piece of straw burned. So, oh, well, I did something kind of duh the other day. What did you do? You know what I did. The, I think it's a good lesson and <laughs> story and paying attention. What are you talking about? Let's see here. When I was working on... Oh. Yeah. Oh. I think it was the owl. Okay, I remember now. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, because I was so tired, and I stopped to take a break. So in my brain, I was coming back to work and ended up having lunch and taking my nap instead. But what I did was... I actually left my wood burner on for five hours. It was on three, and I can say <laughs> that the pin did not heat up. Surprisingly enough. And you had it in a holder. It was in my, yes, it was in my soldering holder, which is heavy duty. And so that protected my counter and studio and house. But I didn't pay, I didn't, normally I'm really good about checking to make sure the light is off. And because I was tired, I did not do that. That could have been a very bad ending. It's actually the second time I've done that <coughs> since I've been burning. The first time is when I got the razor tip. I don't think I told you that one. Because <laughs> it actually scared me. And the razor tip did not do as good. Right, uh, Cheryl said you're lucky. Oh yeah. And I'm also... Paulo has to go, by the way. Bye, Paulo. I'm also paying very close attention, even more attention. Normally I don't... The only time I... And I normally catch it uh, within five minutes, or I leave the burner on because I put the pen down, is when you come into the studio to say something mm -hmm. and I and I put it down in my holder but sometimes I forget to turn it off mm -hmm. but I always in the past have checked before I left the studio and catch it this time I did not do that but like I said it inadvertently got tested the Optima did <laughs> how it heats up or if it does and the pen stayed the same temperature from when I was burning so don't do that <laughs> but I did learn more about the Optima All right, let's get this for going all right, I think I'm going to switch over to something a little different just so we can kind of move around. It looks off because I didn't put in the other part of his, his nose, but I do want to kind of touch on the ear. And that is actually black fur. Let me see my reference. Yep, even the tone is black. But not every part of it is. And some of these lines are actually where it's lighter. So I need to pay attention to that. I bumped it up to four and a half. And 
and kind of go I'm using the edge of the pen because what isn't transferred is llama hair sticks out past the ear so I need to not do like a straight outline I need to get the hair texture in there now I can smell the wood burning I normally don't get that smell very often so I did get it a lot on the penguin so let's get these hairs in and I am intentional of lifting the pen so that it can really um, recollect the heat because I'm going to need it I'm going slower I'm using more of the edge just so I can get that texture but I'm keeping it together now here this is a light color so I'm going to go around it. What I didn't do, I just realized, is put the other side of the ear in. Oops. I was transferring very quickly today. I was just going to save it and do it on the live, but I really wanted to get to burning. Alright. Yeah, llama hair goes in all different directions in the ear. Now where it's light, and that actually might be a piece of grass, but it'll turn into hair. I will still go back and burn over it. Lana goes hard as hair. Hi, Lana. And I will be right back. Oh, okay. You're leaving me. Just for a little bit. Oh, a little bit. Now I gotta remember to look up. Oh, all right. Okay. So I'm just trying to get the texture right and go in the, the right direction. This is straighter fur that comes out across the ear. Trying to get that in. Let's see here. Now some of the hair goes into the lighter. So I do want to get that but not have it be uniform. Definitely want to watch out for that. Let's see here. So I'm kind of negative burning around the lighter areas. Let's see, we have some darker lights, grays, there. And then we have kind of wavy hair. So I'll just Use the tip. Feels so weird every time he leaves me. Get that in there because the ears fold up. So we want to make sure. When I say fold, is these are both sides of the ear and they curl up. So this is the inside of the ear. And again, I don't want to have to scrape any of the wood out, the burn out, if I don't have to. So I'm trying to preserve that. And I can go back and darken this. In fact, I probably will. Let's see here. So this is a little lighter. It's still the darks, but it's a little lighter. And this is where some of the light is hitting the earlobe, the, the ear part that's turned in. And go into dark. Let's see here. Let's put some of those in. Oh, stop and look up. <laughs> Was I making noise, Lana? Was I doing my own sound effects again? Alright, pull that closer into the head. 
because the hair is long. I'm going to bring it in. In fact, I can bring it in further because some of this lighter hair actually lays on top of the ear and incorporates. So, and there is some hair that sticks out on the back side, but right now, let's just get this ear in. And it gets lighter, kind of scribbly up here. And then we got some darks. Now remember, because this is a smaller area, I'm going to see less detail. So I don't have to put every hair in. I'm just going to get that illusion. That's really dark. Put that in there. Go with the direction of the fur. And for the most part, I'm using the edge and I do want this to be darker but for now it's fine it's a little darker in here okay you okay yeah and now Charlie can hear what? he may not be able to see but out of one eye but now he can hear oh, these things are getting better for him yeah he now has an ear Again, I will go through and darken, but we've got the ear in. That's interesting. What's that? Um, Lana goes art says she saw someone showing a wood burner that runs with USB. No. <laughs> no. She says that I doubt it has enough power. No. Yeah, it probably will melt plastic enough to seal something. I'm guessing that's about. Was it homemade? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. You need the power. Uh, Earth says likes that um, owl's eyes on your burn. Thank y'all. I actually had to go in and redraw most of the uh, owl because I had created the power pattern during the live stream, and when I'm talking. I don't always do the best job, so I had to go through and fix it. I think I put the, yeah, I recorded it so you can see me fixing things. All right, so this ear, well, so we've done the ear hair. We've done the little nose hair, which let's go this way. I think we will try some forehead fur. Yeah, this area definitely needs to darken. Yeah, anyway, okay. So let's do some of this hair. And again, this is just first layers. There we go. His head was looking like squeezed in on the board, but it's not. So I bumped down to three and a half. Now, hey Sheila. Hey Sheila. Some of this is darker, and then he's got like some blonde streaks going on. Is it a lombre? A lombre? Okay. Instead of an ombre, it's a lombre. It, it's a hair thing. Never mind. Lombre. lombre. Let's see here. Her. I don't know what you're talking about. I know I'm you don't. I, I just realized that you wouldn't know what an ombre is. What is an ombre? It's hair coloring that graduates. Where did it graduate from? From uh, d lighter on the top of the head. Stanford. Down to Harvard. darker at the bottom <laughs> or vice versa. You hit me. I didn't hit see you. How, see how I she, did not hit you. See how she suppresses. She's, 
I did not. The suppression of the people. I. Just don't. Just don't. Gonna know. How? I now speak Scottish in my head. Not Scottish uh, accent in my head. That's probably better. Probably how to explain that. Um, I know they're showing now again. We had started watching um, Chewing the Fat out of Scotland on Netflix. And then they took one of the characters, or two of the characters from their skit and made a show called Still Game. So yeah, that's what we've been watching. Been binge watching that. I don't think they care about that though. <laughs> to me, the well, shows are hilarious. Some of our broadcast audiences in the UK. Yeah, Sheila, Cheryl, um, Andrew, when he can be here. So they probably are well aware of that. They're probably like, geez, you guys are just getting around to watching that? <laughs> Well, they had, remember the show, uh, Q and the Fat came back. Mm -hmm. So, I hope Netflix uploads the new ones soon. Now, I'm trying to get the lighter for in. Trying to go in the direction. What I can do is actually. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh. Cheryl's an Outlander fan. Oh, I am too. But I see. Yeah, I've already listened to the books and we are on season. What DVD did we write? Three. Three? Yeah. We don't watch it on Stars. We buy the DVDs. Same for Game of Thrones. We haven't started season. But I've already listened to all the books. Yeah, she knows what's going on. Yeah. And sometimes I think I bug you when I sit there going, ah, that's different than the book. I didn't true. do that in the book. It is true. Oh, that bugs you? A little bit. Aww. But I love you, so. <laughs> so you let it go? No, so it, it doesn't bother me as much. And, and you're blocking you this. And, uh, mm. You know, I'm married to you, so I just gotta deal with it. <laughs> I'll try to be better. But there's things in the book that's not in the show, or vice versa. So I have to be honest, in the show, um, Claire is not as strong as she is in the book. And that kind of bums me out. Because she is a stronger character um, in the book than they have her on the show. Really? Yep. Because she seems, seems pretty strong. I mean... What's she doing in the books? Is she like arm wrestling? Is she like <laughs> no? You Thai, listen to the books. Taking Tai Bo classes? <laughs> no, you listen to the books. In the books, she's just a stronger character. She. I listen to parts of the books, like she, when I'm in the studio, and you have you happen to be playing it, so everything's out of context. No, more when you're in the living room. No, in the books, um, sometimes on the show they have her a little whiny and a little subservient. In the books, she is more um, <clears throat> I'm trying to find the way to put it. She takes less crap and less likely to be subservient. I mean she does at times depending on what is going on. but anyway, so I'm just kind of laying these in. I'm About three. It's gone. <laughs> Just kind of laying these in. We have some fur, the lighter fur that goes over the ear here, of course. So I'm just really trying to get the shape in. I can go back and darken areas, but I am doing this lightly. You know, I did not put in his eyelid at all. No. No. Yes, I, did. I was rushing. You mentioned it. No, his eyelid. 
because he's got a fancy, he's got an eyelid. Let's see here, the eyelid comes out here. Though I may have erased it actually. No, I don't see it. Hmm. She says Outlanders on Amazon Prime. Yeah, we saw that last night, remember? I thought it was on Stars. But... Well, it is, but I remember I said, oh, it's on Prime. But I still like being able to buy the DVDs. Well, yeah. I think that we're... Eh, I won't derail the conversation. I, what? I, Technology-wise, technology we're like getting into the era where physical copies of things are becoming right. less and less important. I know, but it always bothers me. Well, I'm from the same when you don't. Well, when, you, when the internet goes down, which happens all the time, then you don't have access to your stuff until they decide to fix it. You know? And it just bothers me. And I would prefer to have a physical copy. That way, if something's not working, I can still use it. I guess I am getting old. What? You're older than me, though. Huh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Oops. Oops. Hey, I started using YouTube Music today. Yeah. That's kind of an odd thing, because, like, you know, I have the, the um, Music Unlimited. You have the Prime. In my studio. Mm -hmm. And so I can listen to, like, almost anything. Yeah, but they don't play Zeppelin, do they? Even on the Prime, do? Yeah, yeah. they do. Do they? Yeah. Okay, I but... Zeppelin on a playlist. Okay, but we're having to pay extra for that. For you to have that music. I don't have to pay extra for the YouTube music because I've already got YouTube Red. Okay. Just saying, like, okay, so I've got my music that's on my playlist. It's weird not to have, like, a physical copy. Mm -hmm. And then also, like, in the past, if I wanted, like, okay, I want to make a, you know, a mix for drawing or something, then I'd have to, I'd have to burn a CD. And then before that, I would have to make a mixtape. They're not even making iPods anymore. I don't care. I haven't. I, I, that's why I haven't been buying music because I'm afraid. Well, one, I don't like um, how the Apple um, program is on the computer. It takes up way too much space. Yeah. Oh, it does. It messes with things. Our, actually, our daughter, Corinne, she's the only one. Yeah, she's the only one who likes Apple. She's the only one in the family who likes Apple. I like to be able to upgrade stuff. She's so trendy. Well, this is true. Yeah. Love you, Corinne. Love you. Congrats on making Captain. Yeah, congratulations. Trendy. Every now and then she watches, so we gotta be careful. <laughs> I know. Gotta be careful. Alright, so I'm trying to put in his block in some of the hair. These are lighter hairs around the eye here. So I'm just trying to give them space without outlining them. I still need to put in his Let's put in his eyelashes. But he's starting to kind of maybe look like a llama-ish. Alright, let's put in... I'm using the edge and curving. To put in these... Let's see here, I'm not curving enough. Well, they actually come down, some of them. Some of them have highlights because they're hit by the light, and some of it is his forehead fur. Oops. That's that one. Robin's here. Hi, Robin. Let's see here. This is a darker area, and I think this is where. So 
to him. We lost the curve. We lost his pretty curve. I can go in with a smaller tip and put the curve back in. So I'm not going to worry about that. But I do need to darken. And see, all of this fur, it's all in different directions. It's all in different lengths and textures. So he's got a lot going on. So here it's darker back here. Let's get that in there. And then he's got a curve. See, some of these hairs are just so thin, I'm going to have to burn over them and possibly scratch them out. It's the only way I can get things even. So let's, let's do this. And his eye has a teardrop shape. We have darker. There we go. And having to be careful with the heel of the pin, of the, this pen because it is on four and a half, it will radiate heat. So I have to be careful. What you doing? I am just doing some uh, sketching while you're and also paying attention to chat. I'm still doing my job, chat. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm, yes, I'm sure. Right, so we got darker in here. And that's just kind of the eye fading into the hair. Let's bring this line. Uh -huh. What are you doing? I was working with my pencil sharpeners. Oh. Well, that's a nice pencil sharpener. Which pencil sharpener are you using? I don't know. It's black. And it's got a clear spot and the lid that flips open. Is it called Prisma? Yes. <laughs> Wait, should I be using... I don't care. Okay. Actually, it's good to use graphite pencils on uh, pencil sharpeners that you use for colored pencil because it lubricates the uh, blade and keeps it where it works. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. All right, so kind of got an eye going. Look at that. Hi, Philip, our new mod. Save Jason, he says. What did you say? Oh, who's here? Yeah. Um, see, I am looking at chat. Um, Robin loves your choice to do a llama. Thank y'all. I have never burned a llama before, so this is all. Thank goodness. What? I haven't burned a llama before. I know. This goes back to the things that you say. <sighs> they all know what I mean. I know. But let's just say that like, somebody just clicked on YouTube and, like, well, I'm just going to randomly look, just jump into this video. But I'm burning a llama. And they're like, ah, I'm burning a llama today. But and I am. they're like, whoa. <laughs> but I am burning a llama. He's right there in front of us. Thumbs down. Unsubscribe. Oh, I already get that. Oh, sorry. Don't want to bitch about that. Don't, uh, don't know what's going on with that one. Alrighty, so we got... I am going to have to go in and scrape. So if I'm going to go in and scrape, let's go ahead and get better shapes. But then again, there's very few, there's very little white on Charlie here. So even if I burn over the lines that I have for more individualized hair it's not going to matter because they would end up being slightly burned anyway so I can go back and negative burn any of the more detailed light ones hope that makes sense that does make sense oh uh, mm -hmm. Grace called you on uh, your your you said you said bitch. I did. 
Hey. Says ooh. <laughs> if you notice, I don't have that as one of the rules other than just being nice. See, Cheryl said that she was in the doctor's waiting room. She's talking to her hubby. Oops. And she said, I'd love to burn an owl on my new burner account. And I guess she got a lot of what looks. <laughs> it's always fun when that happens. <laughs> it's fun for you. It's and it was fun for Cheryl, too. It's I bet you she got a big old smile on her face. It's mortifying for your significant other <laughs> that has to go around and do damage control. No, no, no. She's not a psychopath. I swear. <laughs> she doesn't burn animals. Like, I do burn animals. I'm burning an I animal. Have to say, stop saying right that. Right here. You here. do art. You're not actually burning the animals. It's art. <clears throat> no, ma'am. No, it's not. I don't think it's artistic to burn live animals. I'm not, no, no, no. I am not burning a live animal. I'm just burning an animal. That's just semantics. And I guarantee, I'm semantics. almost positive, I'm almost positive Cheryl was sitting there with a half smile on her face knowing everybody was looking at her funny and having no idea what she was talking about. Maybe I should start looking at this different. Like, why do you enjoy that attention? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you think that that's funny? Because yeah. it is funny. Like, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it is funny. They Some think, of those looks. I think I'm burning animals. It's hilarious. <laughs> See, Cheryl said yes. It was so funny. Ha ha. Ha ha. Cheryl knows. And Robin knows too. I'm not sure if Philip is doing it. Doing it. Burning animals, or if he's still burning people's. Oh God, gonna shut us down. Hmm. Gonna shut us down. I am burning an animal right now. I am. This is. It's not clickbait. I am burning an animal. <laughs> what? Well, I'll make your views go up one way or the other. <laughs> We're in subs. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Nothing. Oh, that's what I said I wasn't going to bitch you about. And then Philip threatened to use a bar of soap. My daddy can't even do that to me anymore. And again, he's also across the country. <laughs> All right, so we have muscle that defines. the shape so we do want to keep that actually it doesn't look like I drew it in but I caught it from my reference photo I haven't really been looking at my black and white photo because right now I want to be able to see the detail I can worry about the uh, contrast later right now I just want to get everything in its place like, yeah dark. I need to fix the eyeball, but I can do that later. So we'll get that in there. Got to get that cheekbone. You know, he's showing off that cheekbone to eye form. So well, now chat's telling all the things that they like to burn. See? See? I told you. And you. It's only the significant others that have a hard time with us saying that. And let's face it, if somebody hears us say that and go, oh, I know what you're talking about, or I do that too, it's kind of code. Secret pyro talk. That's another thing. Maybe don't call yourself a pyro. <laughs> <laughs> See, Sam likes to burn flowers. Yeah, that's what I was saying. See? We're burning things. Hmm. Let's see. Now, the side fur is long and clumpy and runs in all different directions. And I am skipping around, and that's because we have so many different, so much different fur, I just kind of want to touch on it all. I'm sitting there. 
I don't know if I'm going to do a speed video of Charlie here once he's done because I did the live. I guess we'll see. So we got wisps, wisps. Let me get those wisps going. Gotta get that shape right. The direction of the fur, like this, is actually here. Oops. I'm gonna have to reburn that. Triangle is right there. Cheryl says. She finds it hilarious. See? The looks are fun. Well, Sam has her sketch transferred to wood now. That's Ruka, I'm assuming. Yeah, wait for her. Um, Philip actually says he hasn't done many flowers. Doesn't feel like he's doing them right. Mm -hmm. Well, it's practice. I mean, the only flowers that I've really burned, you guys have seen. It's not something that I do often. Sienna's done, she says she's done like 35. Yeah, she's done a bunch. It's a lot of, yes, this is a lot of flowers, Lana. Right, so I kind of burned this one in the wrong direction, but because I'm somewhat burning lightly, I can reshape. See, this fur goes down. Am I still on camera? Yeah. Well, on the penguin, I think it was penguin, I went off camera a couple of times. See, right here. Well, I wasn't here to do my job. I know. I normally have to have my phone set up so that I can see. And I got into burning and didn't pay attention. Alright, let's get back. Ah! You okay? Yeah, it was like chalk on I had nails on a chalkboard. What did you do? I read my nail along with grain because I was erasing. Gotta trim that nail. Oh. Ah, that hurt my teeth. Alright. I so did not expect that sound. You know. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I'm not It's going. an electric eraser. Yeah. And I'm not going to address that. Heather's one. not here, so. Let's see here. This area closer to his cheek is darker, so we want to get that. Make sure that goes in. And then this. Oh. Huh? Well, Cheryl's college has given her permission to take pictures of all the animals they have there. Ooh, as that's long cool. As they give them a shout out for the original picture. That is awesome. Yeah. Christy says the llama's hair and the burn looks superb. Thank you. He still got a long way to go. Now I have this Mookie and Bandit song in my head. What? Long way to go. Short time to get there. Oh. You don't know that song? Probably don't. Yeah. I've only ever seen the movie like once. <laughs> and that was like probably when I was like, I don't know, 12. You've only seen Smokey and the Bandit once? That used to be Cole's, one of Cole's favorite movies. But when it came on TV or on cable, we would watch it. Growing up. Let's see here. Just trying to block this in. I can go back and darken because the fur. What I didn't transfer over was the koala face, and I should have. That way I know how far I can go with the fur. I didn't Let's see here. I'm trying to get this lined up. Pretty much there, because right here is the koala. I don't have any graphic paper. So, 
I know this is not exact, but it at least will give me an idea of where I need to stop. That's enough. That's mainly what I need. And here I can go further out. So because the llama fur I do have going behind the koala. So I am going to kind of fade it out if I can. Some of this is lighter, some of it's darker. The darker is closer to the head. And as Carly's fur goes out, kind of follows this direction. And even the dark fur because it has highlights on it, it's not completely black. So that I won't burn like that. I'll burn it lighter so that I can get that value. So here. And again, this is really just blocking in. So I know where we're going. And a lot of things needs to be darker. That's what's throwing me off that I'm not. Because I'm blocking in just to show how to do different things. It's kind of throwing me off. Dun, dun, dun. Do you have any questions? Um, no. Let me see here. These are longer furs. See, I've also got the ladybug right here. And the ladybug goes behind the llama. So I have to pretty much stop on this side for now. I know the ear is safe. We're going to have to up the heat. So we can get the darks in it. And then I think we'll probably end it for today. Right now he's still very ugly. You'll be pretty, Curly, I promise. You'll be pretty. Well, I'm glad to see so many people participating oh, yeah. in World Pyrography Month. That's so awesome. I need to turn him. There we go. Oh, nice. says, look how much you've done so far. I mean, it looks really nice. Um, thank y'all. Now I gotta remember my hair. I'm gonna go ahead. I don't always flip my um, reference photo, but the hair's a little different. I guess it helps if I flip it the right direction. I don't always flip my reference photo, but when I do, I flip it the right direction. <laughs> the wrong way. <laughs> I put it the wrong way. Alright, so this hair, this is going to be hot, because I'm at, well, no, bumped it up to five. We need some very kind comments about uh, the eye. And go. It still needs a lot of work, but we at least, you can see. Now we have lighter fur along the tip here. Hair. This. So did anybody say that they've seen uh, Still Game or Chewing the Fat? I did not. They're funny. Jack and Victor. I was honestly, I mean, because I like, uh, I like um, those shows, obviously. 
but I was on the fence about it. You know, oh, are you going to watch this? And I was like, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, this is my second time <laughs> watching all the episodes. But actually, I really like it. It's funny. Well, it's a nice show, too. Mm -hmm. so it's very, very insightful. I just see, I think it's cool seeing guys in their 40s and 50s playing seven year olds and doing a very convincing job. Yeah, they actually do, though. Convincing it is. Yeah. Had I not known about the other show, I wouldn't have realized. I uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have known that they were actually like older guy or that they weren't older guys. So well, I had to look it up because I wasn't sure. Because Human the Fat started in two thousand two. Because I, I was I was thinking about that. And I was like, well, what if like the Golden Girls? What if they like, you know what I'm saying? What if yeah. They, it was like younger. Uh, ladies, and they just made them up look old. I was like, would that be weird? Well, they did. Huh? They did. What are you talking about? The m mother, who was the oldest on the show, she's the youngest actor out of all of them. What? Yeah, they they did that. She's not really that old? No, but though she may not be with us anymore, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but they weren't all like in their 40s. The he the lady that played the the actress who played the oldest was the youngest actress on out of all the ladies. Playing. Well, my mind is blown. I had no idea. I thought. Did she I was... burn it? Did I burn your mind? See, and how do I know the difference? How do I know the difference when you're joking and when you're speaking metaphorically? Because you know I didn't touch you, so I obviously didn't physically burn your mind. Let's keep it that way. <laughs> of course. Why would I burn your mind physically? I'm just trying to get... Because there are lighter hairs, I'm just kind of bouncing around and leaving space. You're just sitting there. Mm hmm You said earlier that you're skipping around and... No, I'm talking about within the air itself. No, but you're just sitting there. You're not doing any of that. It's so deceptive. <laughs> Hey, Tina. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I just happened to be looking up. Take away my job. I'm sorry. I have one job. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like Galaxy Quest. I have one <laughs> job on this ship. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't watched that in a while. One job. Let's see here. This curves. Like that. Yeah, these are lighter hairs. I can, in fact, turn the heat down just so I don't over overburn them. Let's see here. Let's see if we can get. I'm just using the edge, and I bump down the heat. Let's see this. This way. You know what I just realized? What? I'm hungry. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I've been snacking. Well, I I've been working while you've been snacking. Oh. Well, I will still eat lunch with you. <laughs> well, I hope so. Alright, so I'm trying because these are. Thinner, softer hairs, and they're also a little off. I was looking at it upside down. There we go. Tina says that she loves the mama. Thank you. And luckily, this is dark right here, so me messing up is not a big deal. that in there and then these hairs are longer remember I'm just putting placeholders in not, not trying to detail them yet 
Bernadette doesn't conform to the laws of of science. Look you nature. do. Oh, Eve saying that Bernie's uh, hair messes with her head. <laughs> oh, Jason drew her. <laughs> Paulo says someone lost a sock. <laughs> I agree, she'd like that one. <laughs> <laughs> For a comment about yeah, yeah. losing losing it permanently, or <laughs> uh, let's see here. Yeah, see, I kind of the hair goes down, and I kind of messed it up. But hair goes down. Yeah, I curled it up instead of down, so that makes a difference. It reminds me of that song that Brett and Link did. It's been in my head since you've been talking about the fur going down and the fur going up. I don't know which song you're talking about. My, my hair goes down. My hair goes up. I think I missed that one. It's one of their songs. That they, oh. did. they did a video for it. All right. So now I've fixed the direction that I oopsed in. And Paula says she freaks me out every time she appears like that. <laughs> Sorry, Paula. She's just checking in. This is a surprise visit. So let's get these darks in. So I'm going to come straight down. Trying to make it look fuzzy. Looks fuzzy to me. And there's. Get some graphite off. Now I do feel the pin a little warm right here, but I'm also on five. So that makes a big difference. That is not enough for me to put a glove on or take a break. See, I really like it. She says she thinks Bernie is awesome, especially with the torch. Yay! Was she in the beginning this time? Mm-hmm. Oh. No, I like that beginning. I didn't see it, I guess. So, yes, she's in it. Well, I was running late, so oh. just trying to get things done. That's all. I think we're going to start wrapping this up. Because I know there's things that I need to pay closer attention on on this. And we're already at our hour and a half, aren't we? So you directed that part in... in, in what are you talking about? You composed about? The, ti the whole title sequence with, where Bernie burns up everything. I made that, yeah. That, that's letting credence to my thought that you may actually be Pyro. <laughs> But he's my assistant. No, she made her burn down everything. <laughs> and now you're laughing like that. <laughs> but I thought it was funny. I thought everybody would get a kick out of it. That was the purpose. Let's see here. So this fur goes up. So let's get that in there. Tina says, Tina Whitley says, boo and poof, I'm gone. Boo and poof. I think boo, meaning like boo surprise. Oh. And then poof, she's gone. Oh. <laughs> You're the one with the mouse, not me. You did it. So some of this comes down. Philip says yes, she is hot. <laughs> <laughs> Cheryl says I love the intro Bernie and his fab in it. Awesome. Yay. Grace says it's funny until she up and does it. Oh, <laughs> that's true. You don't lock the studio tonight. Hey. <laughs> Can I close the door? That's, that, that sounds like another chapter uh, in my horror film. Ugh. End of stock. Like horror, horror anthology. <laughs> Sorry. Ugh. Oh. I did not sleep very well last night. I need to zoom out. You can do it. See? That X right there. There. 
Well, I'll zoom out. I'll zoom out. Well, you're not going to see it as well. I got to do it this way. Ta da! There's a lot more that's got to go into Charlie here. But we looked at the uh, shorter fur, the long, longer dark fur, getting some softer fur here. I'll move it over here. Um, getting the eyeball still needs to really be touched up. We got some of the darks in this area is lighter, so I have to pay. Bernie is disagreeing with you. Oh wait, no, she's agreeing. Yes, no. Yes. Okay. Well, you try to do a better job, Bernie. Let's see how, how you do. Let's take this torch to everything. So I was just trying to get the shape of his face down, the darks under here, and this way you can see. I'm sorry I forgot to pop the reference photo up in this area right there. That's where it normally goes. I forgot. So I'm just trying to put in, if you notice there's some thinner hairs that come over the ears, and so that's why I didn't just do a blanket dark burn all the way down to where his head ears and head connect and yeah some of it I grouped together some of it I put a little more detail I did not burn as dark because if you notice this is darker here this is darker here I didn't burn darker because I need to be able to preserve some highlights of the, of the lighter fur that shapes his face so I would rather burn lighter like this and then darken up the areas that need to be darkened versus um you draw my picture okay I did not and see here okay so now that I've got actually I moved ladybug I did it again oops and Chris uh, Gershner is back in. Hi, Chris. It's had a terrible day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had a horrible day. I hope you feel better. His name is Charlie. Charlie the Llama. So I did move the, um, because I had to move Charlie up, I moved the ladybug down. So the ladybug is going to be overlapped right about here so I had to pay attention to how far I burn this part of the hair out because that's what's going to overlap all right and if we don't have any questions I think I need a break okay. I've been going and going and going and Sam thinks the koala looks scary I know I had a scarier picture of a koala what? And I, I didn't like it because it was like really scary. I'm so I switched it to. I'm not seeing the scary. You're not seeing the scary koala? No. Well, I see well the they're koala. kind of. Uh, Aren't they cute and cuddly? Well, of course they're cute and cuddly, but they're still kind of creepy looking. I think it has to do with their pupil. They have pupils similar to cats. Oh. And the fact that the baby, the really, one of the reasons I did it for Delicate is the baby has to lick the mommy's poo. That. <laughs> <laughs> because it can't eat. It doesn't have the enzymes to eat the eucalyptus leaves. So it's delicate in order for them to survive. They have to eat their mommy's poo. Man, I'm glad we're not koalas. <laughs> um, I know. Paula says the koala is kissing the llama. <laughs> yeah, I guess it kind of is. Wow. I had things laid out a different way. And it just wasn't working for me. So this is what I ended up coming up with. This, the ringtail cat's going to be more detailed. I had to put photos together um, to get kind of what I wanted. It'll be in a sharper focus. He's not going to, because right now he looks so far back just because of how blurry he is. But yes, it does look like the koala. Maybe I should put some lips going out so he can kiss, so he can kiss Charlie. What did you say, Chance? Like, Sam said that's scary enough, and he just goes, wow, wow. <laughs> and Grace is like, what? 
And, oh, jeez. Oh. <laughs> but it's true. Oh, that's about the poop. That's about the koala babies having to eat mommy's poop. That's like, you know what, that's like some awkward... That's like some dad, some some dad uh, information. <laughs> but it's like when someone's <laughs> friends are over, like just randomly. But our friends so are over. So you're Chris's friends. Hey, did you kids know that the baby llama? No, 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 baby koala has to eat its mother's poop to survive. Well, it does. That's, That's right. what makes it delicate. More this you one, know, kids, <laughs> smarter every day. This one's older because actually the leaves are poison. Yeah. The eucalyptus leaves are poison. But the mom has an enzyme, or adult koalas have an enzyme that breaks down in it so it doesn't affect them. But the babies don't have that, so the babies have to eat the mama poo in order to digest their food source. This is what you get from always accumulating information. <laughs> yes, my brain is full of it. <laughs> It may not be useful, but it's something. So that's why this is delicate. And since this one's eating a leaf, it means it's an older koala. But it may still eat its poop. I don't know. That's what you but get. They actually, they actually lick the mother as the mother's defecating to eat the poo. That's worse. I'm You're sorry. It worse. <laughs> but it's true. That's what you get here. <laughs> Quality biography and weird ass stories. But it's true. Sleep, sleep good tonight, kids. Hey, at least you don't have to lick your mama's ah, booty no. to eat. Oh, that is why they are delicate. Jen, help me. <laughs> You're talking to the lap the tablet's not gonna help you. Can you you had me. to talk into the mic. Can you hear me? I don't want to make uh, eye contact with you. Right right, I need to be done. <laughs> I've been busting my butt for the last week. I need to be done. I still got four weeks to go. All right. If we don't have any questions. Oh, I'm sure there's questions. <laughs> Hey, but I had to explain. Did you what? really have to? I'm Why? pretty sure all of this could have gone our entire natural lives without knowing that. Okay, but and that's just, a koala's it natural just life. Been thought like, mm, yep, llamas are or koalas are cute, <laughs> but they are still cute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn, Grace. All right. Love you guys. <laughs> Oh, I'm hot. I need a break. I need to eat lunch. I'm done. Yeah. Oh, my eyes are watering. Grace, let's go to bed. <laughs> I gotta eat first. Oh, goodness me. Okay, if we don't have any questions, I'm gonna end it with koala poo. No. Stop <laughs> saying that. <laughs> no more questions? Okay, guys. Well, if you liked the video... <laughs> Please make sure to hit the like button, leave me a comment, and we will see you next Tuesday. Happy burning, guys. Bye. Uh, whatever. Bye.